this video is how to make a regular sunflower motif so to begin this motif we start the same way as with a regular sunflower motif the only difference is that instead of making a chain of eight we make a chain of six One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we join onto the six chain from hook. And from here on, it's the same step as what we've done on the regular sunflower motif. Chain five. One, two, three, four five to count as one triple crochet and a chain then triple crochet into the space or over ring the same process different terminology chain one triple crochet over the ring and repeat chain one triple crochet over the ring a total of 14 times including the beginning chain after the 14th triple crochet chain one and slip a stitch on the fourth chain of the beginning chain and round one is completed round two is the same process as round two of the <coughs> original sunflower pattern so we slip a stitch on next stitch and single crochet into the space chain three one two three and single crochet on the next space then repeat chain three one two three single crochet on the next space and keep repeating chain three single crochet on next space all the way around after the last single crochet chain three one two three and slip a stitch on the beginning single crochet And that's the way round two looks. Round three. So we slip a stitch on next stitch. Single crochet on next space. Then chain four. One, two, three, four. And single crochet on next chain three space repeat chain four one two three four and single crochet on next chain three space and repeat chain three single crochet on next chain three space all the way around after the last single crochet into the space then we chain four one two three four and slip a stitch on the beginning single crochet and that's the way the round looks
and again round four is the same process as round four of original pattern so we slip a stitch so next stitch then slip a stitch into the space chain four one two three four then this count as one triple crochet so we need a total of three triple crochet together stitch so this is the second triple crochet counting this as the first three triple crochet together into the space and then another triple crochet together into the space there should be a total of four triple crochet together on the same space so chain five one two three four five and repeat triple crochet four together on the next space we have two triple crochet now we need two more so that's the third incomplete triple crochet the fourth incomplete triple crochet and then we will complete the incomplete triple crochets to make it a triple crochet four together stitch so keep repeating chain five triple crochet four together on next space all the way around after the last triple crochet four together stitch on the last loop or space and then chain five one two three four five and slip stitch on the top loop of the first petal that was made insert the hook between these two loops here right there making sure that you cut more than one strands of yarn so it will look like that now complete the slip stitch and so that's the end of round four so on round five you will do exactly the same as the original we slip a stitch on the next three stitches so that was one two three and single crochet into the space then chain seven one two three four five six seven and single crochet on the next chain five space repeat chain seven one two three four five six seven single crochet on the next chain five is space so keep repeating chain seven single crochet on next space all the way around and we will end with the last single crochet right there after the last single crochet of the round this one then chain seven one two three four five six seven and slippy stitch on the beginning single crochet 
that's the way it looks now before we start the next round let us mark the space or loop in which we are going to make the corner shell so from here we are going to count four so one two three four and mark the fourth space this is another corner one two three four and mark this one one two three four and mark this right here so you notice that this side here is will be narrower than the other three sides this is intentional to accommodate the design of the shrug at the back this motif is a subsequent motif so therefore we have to connect this to another motif before we can finish it all together to, to round six but in order to show you what the shape of this motif like i will go ahead and make this six round to begin the round we slip a stitch into the next stitch and single crochet into the space then chain four one two three four so after that we do another triple crochet two of them so we have a total of three triple crochet shell including the chain four and we made a half shell right there so chain seven one two three four five six seven and triple crochet on the same space to complete the half the other half of the shell So then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet on the next chain seven space. Repeat chain five, single crochet on the next chain seven space. So this is the second repeat. This is one, two. And we will make another repeat of this chain five single crochet on the next space then we are going to make the next corner shell right here so chain five one two three four five and corner shell on the next space
then repeat chain five one two three four five single crochet on the next space repeating this routine three times so that's one repeat already then chain five single crochet on the next space for the second time chain five one two three four five single crochet on the next space for the third time then we will repeat this same corner shell right there so repeat all this group of stitches <coughs> starting from the chain five up to the end of the shell the last triple crochet of the shell and then repeat doing the same up to this corner here now you see that the fourth side is narrow then compared to the rest of the sides but this is intentional that is the result of just having 14 posts 14 triple crochet posts on round one so let us finish this just to show you what it looks like so chain five one two three four five and single crochet on the next chain five space chain five one two three four five and slip stitch on the full chain or beginning chain four you can either use the fourth or the third it doesn't seem to matter so that's the way it looks now so now i will explain why it is that this side is narrow that is to accommodate the design of the shrug we want it to be narrower at the waistline so that's the reason this is narrow this side of the motif should face the waistline or in other words the hem the back hem of the garment we should make three of this for the purpose of designing the back part of the bodies of the shrug three of this irregular sunflower motifs goes on this side and then another on the middle and another on the other side then the narrow side should face downward toward the hemline like that so now that i have shown you the shape of this irregular sunflower motif I need to unravel this up to the end of round 5 to get it ready for the actual joining on my next video I will show how to connect all the motifs together to make the shrug I will include a diagram that shows how it is done Thank you all for watching and so I'll see you soon.